hey there good people welcome back to our channel we are back with another simple video we want to make some delicious tomato sauce at home from scratch this will help us save some little coins yes and before we do that i just want to request you that if you have been watching our videos without subscribing you just take your second and hit that button subscribe be part of this uh, journey be part of this channel let us grow together kindly do subscribe share like and comment we can now do this we are set and we are going to begin by roughly slicing our tomatoes i have about seven tomatoes and you can choose to have more or less depending on the quantity of the sauce that you want to make or the size of your family and uh, let the tomatoes be at least uh, very ripe and a bit uh, tender mine are not so so much uh, tender but i hope they are going to do for this process so let's begin and see what we will have at the end of this video i am done chopping the tomatoes and it is time for me now to transfer them to a cooking a clean cooking pot at this point we are going to cook them for about three to five minutes until they are soft and tender enough or until the skins start to peel off so during this time of cooking feel free to add some little water for the cooking that is to prevent uh, the, the tomatoes from burning or from sticking to your cooking pan also you can uh, do without the water that is you cook them on a very very low heat as you continue stirring them so that uh, they don't stick or burn so cover them and wait for about three to five minutes until they are soft enough now as you can see they are a bit soft and uh, the skins have started to peel off and i think it is now time for rest to continue to the next uh, uh, process After the cooking is done, remove them from the heat and uh, time now to proceed with the next process and, and at this time what we are going to do is now transfer the tomatoes to a blender. They are still hot so find something that can help you transfer them well to uh, the blender without uh, burning your hands. You can use a scooping spoon or anything that can help you and uh, if your blender is not able to take uh, still hot uh, tomatoes to blend you can let them to cool a little bit before you can blend
done with the blending and the next thing we are going to do is to sieve the blended uh, tomato into a cooking pot and then we are going to now continue to the next uh, process As you can see, we have a very smooth uh, tomato sauce and it is looking so good. Now we are going to move to the final process to incorporate the other ingredients that we need to add to this sauce to make it more sweeter. And what we have here is lemon juice, about uh, three spoons of lemon juice. We have cornstarch or the cornflour. We have honey and we have salt and this is all we are going to use for this recipe. If you don't have honey, you can uh, use uh, brown sugar or some jaggery, they're going to do. Now add some little water to the cornstarch or the cornflour and mix to make it uh, a milkish uh, liquid substance which you are going to use in making our tomato sauce now i have done a video on how to make corn flour or cornstarch from scratch at home you can check the video in the description box below and watch it if you want to learn how to make cornstarch from scratch at home time to return our tomato sauce back to heat to cooking and at this point we are going to cook it on a very very low heat continue stirring so that it does not uh, stick or uh, burn and uh, as it starts to boil as you see the bubbles it is time to start adding in now our other ingredients This has been cooking for about uh, three minutes and as you can see it is almost reducing the size and uh, it is getting thick. Time to add in our ingredients starting with the lemon you can start with any so as you add you continue starting to blend everything together add in the salt and continue uh, stirring. So we are going to cook this until it it is thick enough that is how you like it and then that will be the end of our recipe so I have added the cornstarch a liquid and I'm going to continue stirring and uh, let it cook until it thickens so if you have watched this video to this point it means that you appreciate the work that we are doing and I just want to request you that you subscribe to our channel to this channel this is one way of you supporting us and it is one way of telling us that uh, you love what we are we are doing and uh, you are here for this content do subscribe kindly and uh, let us grow this young family together as we hope that this message will reach many more out there so i've added some honey and uh, i'm going to continue stirring this as it cooks 
Now we are making this tomato sauce to cut on some cost to save some coins because some people do buy we do not buy tomato sauce ever because uh, we know that the tomato sauce out there they are not even made from tomatoes they have so many chemicals in them which are not good for our health and uh, we want to be in good health so that's why we had to learn how to make this at home and enjoy it from the comfort of our home without spending so much and it has been an amazing experience you can use this on your fries on your potato wedges you can use it to make some chips masala and so many more i have shared some of the meals that we are paired and i use this sauce this tomato sauce and it was delicious so if you have been watching our videos without subscribing, I think it is time you, 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 you subscribe. Be part of this family, be part of our growing this journey as we endeavor to reach this message to so many people out there. And may God bless you as you do this. Bye bye and I hope that you enjoy your tomato sauce made at home with so much love.